hello. <laughs> hello. Um, welcome to White Mist Creative Studios. We're all but a vapor, so let's create with all of our essence. So today, I'm getting ready to put my hair up in a second, but I, this <laughs> is a piece of glass. Yeah, I know. I, f I figured you already figured that out, but um, this is a piece of glass from a picture frame, and I'm going to pour on it and stick it back in my frame. Hold on just a second. I'm going to show you the frame and get my hair up, okay? Give me just a second. This right here is the handy dandy frame that goes on this project. I don't even know what you can see, so I'm gonna come around here and hold this. Oh yeah, you can see everything. I'm acting like you have to sit real low to see everything. Sorry, again, just starting out uh, my videos and I got a swish mount, so we'll see how good it works. I think I'm gonna have to go back to a tripod, but right now it provides a little extra light. So that fits on that and I well I probably may end up pouring the frame later um, decided what a good idea it would be to fill it and I did another project like this uh, and um, it turned out great so I thought today we would do a black negative space but I have a little bit of paint to mix up I'm going to use black there we go that's probably way enough um, black actually that's too much really but I hate mixing up teeny tiny bits of paint so um, I don't like give bees in my flow trawl so we're gonna pull that out um, twice that, that's twice that, at least 50-50. I, um, so probably not, but we'll see. I'm going to mix this up, so, just give me a minute. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It says it's pink gold. I personally think that it's not at the concentration of gold. See, the bottom is much colder than the side, and the top is very thin, where the bottom is very thick. You cannot even shake that paint. So hold on just a second, I'm gonna give it a good mix -a -roo. Oh yeah, that's starting to do some loveliness. It's just kind of a soft color. Get out of here, kitty cat. Back. Sorry. My cat knew it's not allowed in my studio. And while I'm away trying to shoo away the cat. Here is the one I poured before. I think it kind of looks like a deer um, that's running with his horns back. And that's what I see there. It's my beloved coming to me like a gazelle upon the mountains is my beloved. And so anyhow, that is the one I did, which I'm going to move that. I don't want it to get paint on it. I 
I'm going to get my, I've got to get a phone mount for my uh, tripod. I've just moved into the studio and haven't created a whole lot since I moved in, actually. Because, you know, when you move in close to the holidays and you have to get everything put away, which I guess is, oh my God, did that. Um, you have to get everything put away. And, you know, this is, I feel like all the gold for that is at the bottom. So I'm going to leave that upside down and I'm going to add a little gold and a little copper because if you don't get the right color, you can mix your own, right? I'm just going to put a little color in there. Just a little. And maybe a little copper. Just, just a touch, right? Just to get a particular color. That's enough. Okay, we'll see what that does. It may not do anything. You know? Oh, goodness. Let's give that a real good stir. Oh, that's looking a little better. I think that looks a little better. I think that's mighty thick, so I'm going to... It's hard to tell when it's, uh, yeah, it's a little thick. So this is the color I've gotten so far. What do you think about that? Um, it's not quite loose enough, so we're going to take a little of this pure water and put it in there. I'm going to have way too much color and have to use it on something else. So perhaps tomorrow night's project. We'll have some of that color in it. I have another color. I have another color that I want to use with this, so that might just be the right thing to do. Although I've been using it a lot lately, it's that uh, blue blue violet flash. It turns out into this weird bluey, purpley gold. Which I would not have stuck gold behind that. I would probably have stuck silver behind it, but teach their own, right? I think that looks a lot more like rose gold now, although I would say it could still be rosier, but it's definitely not gold or copper. It's definitely some kind of, and it's not silver either, so. Um, well, I don't want to make this a huge long video, because, you know, the quicker the video, the more down you might be to watch it. So, I know I'm that way. If a video takes forever, I'm like, get to the point. I mix all my um, colors with Floetrol and water. I am, um, I have added to my Floetrol a little bit of float cinder by Master's Touch. And this technique is the Dutch pour inspired by Rinskadona. And um, I think she's the one that gets accredited with that the most. And so, um, yeah, we're going to cover this up. I don't like quick like. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to take my little stick here because I forgot to grab my spatula. And I'm going to spread it out. There we go. So that's a really unique way of spreading it. Uh, <laughs> kind of effective, but still kind of like uh, that's a lot of paint. Why, yes, it is. And kind of thick. So I could have thinned this some more. Good lesson for next time. getting there. I definitely do mine 
paints more like mixed media girls although I'd say even today this is a little bit too thick but I've made thicker work so uh, it's really your own personal preference there's no rules although you'll get certain results with thicker paint than you will with thinner so what is this black color saying, especially when the frame's black? In a dark world, in the stillness, in the night season, and you can tell my table is not level, so I'm going to tilt. Oh, I just got that on my cup. I'm sure you can see that run off the back side there. There we go. Shake that down a little bit. I kind of want to trade that out now. I don't have nothing else to do with it. Oh well. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay, because I want to look at that. You like my paint and overalls? These are the first time I'm using them. And look at that black. That's These will be nice and stiff by the time I get done with them. But they're perfect to start my new YouTube adventure with. So, um, I want my torch. <laughs> I forgot it wasn't a bottle of paint. It is popping those bubbles. And that's important on glass that you don't just, and on paint that you don't just hold it in one place. And I'm gonna set that down right there. And I'm gonna set that down there. And I'm gonna move that and put the cap on it. I have my hair dryer. Honestly, don't think I will need it. Um, I'm gonna Throw that over there. Bring my gold and my copper. I was I gonna use silver? I don't know. Honestly. Maybe a touch of white. Think about that. I'm gonna move my water over here. Okay. Alright, so I think it looks pretty good. I need to test and make sure that's not a booger. I don't want to put them in there, testing for them. So get off of there. Get paint. Get paint string. That's better. Okay. Uh oh. Look what I just did. I just go like <laughs> trying to keep hairs out and. covering the edges is not a thing when with glass I actually want to scrape off the sides because that's one thing I noticed it barely fit out in the last one after I did that and I'll have to do this again with um, this one after I put this stuff on so I think I don't want the white and the gray to turn to black so if it does that, if it does that, well, it will do that if I put the white down first. So I think, I think I'll put this, now these are all metallics. So, oh, look at all those bubbles come up to the surface. That's good. That's straining. You can't see that, but hold on just a second. I'll, I'll give it a go for the camera. We'll see if it does it. Mm. 
Yeah, there you go. You can see that. That's a good consistency. So, because I'm doing this, I'm going to start off the side and just run it right down like that. Perfect. That's all I need of that. And I'm probably just actually going to put dots. Um, one for the middle, I guess. Yeah, okay. That's different. I haven't done that before. Um, and again, we're gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna see what the hair dryer does. It's small, and I can't really flood it a lot. Although there's a lot of black on there. So... Mm. I think I want to put the white in between that gold and the copper. Very good. Very good. Minimal white. Now I want to do a copper on top of those little gold dots. Maybe the side there. Come on. Okay, well, that's all right. Um, things happen, right? They do. So, we're going to turn it like this. With the hair dryer, my concern is number one, that I don't knock everything off. Um, that's probably good. Torch that and possibly tilt it. Okay. I'm not sure which way to tilt it. I like that. I like this. I'm not sure about that. I feel like that almost didn't get moved enough, you know? Oh, well, here we go. off and do like so wipe that off and like that and I still feel like it's really crowded down there so I'm gonna take this and try it on its lowest setting and get it to stretch it out Okay, what do you think? 
Ooh, that's starting to break up something here. Come on. Give that a little tilt and shake. And set. Now we're going to take that back. I'm going to steal the paint right there. I did something there. I'm not too sure. Whoa, don't fall down, dude. Don't fall down. Okay. There. Okay. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to rock it back. I'm going to rock it back like that. Put it like that and leave it. Because I think I kind of like that. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to take my straw. And I'm going to mess around for just a second. Oh my. Well, I just put black on this side and the other side's. Take this and angle it back over here and blow that out a little bit. There we go, kind of like that. Very nice. I might try that. Blow that out a little bit. Ooh, I like that. That definitely gives a good effect. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to torch it for air bubbles. No are appearing. Ooh, I like that. That is kind of cool. I don't know what you're seeing, so I'm going to try and give you a close-up, okay? Bear with me as I take you out of the thing. All right. Oh, 22 minutes. Jeez Louise, i got to learn how to be quicker. Next time I'll have all my paints ready, okay, guys? But I think that's cool. I think it's lovely. I like the sheerness of that other one, the pink gold. That is going to be so pretty in that frame. Well, guys, thank you so much for bearing with me. I'm sorry for the 22, 23, 24-minute journey, but um, thank you for joining me, and I just want to shout out to Mixed Media Girl. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate you, and I can't wait to really dig into that course. So, um, blessings, y'all. Bye-bye.